You are listening to Standards in 10 Minutes from The Standard Show, the podcast that brings you the stories behind the standards with Matthew Childs and Cindy Parakil. Hello, my name is Matthew Childs. And I'm Cindy Parakil. And this standard in 10 minutes is ISO 2012 1, the international standard for sustainable events. Here are 10 things you need to know. Number one, what the standard is all about. It's true to say that events can take a heavy toll on resources, society and the environment, often generating significant waste. So, in response, the standard ISO 2012-1 lays out a management system that helps to improve the sustainability of events. Think of it this way. It provides a method of working to make sure event organisers consider sustainability at every step when researching, planning and hosting their events. And as well as promoting more responsible consumption of resources, the standard helps to relieve the strain on local infrastructure and utilities, reducing the potential for conflict in communities where events are hosted. Number two why it was created. Well, the reason was the result of a pretty big event. The International Olympic Committee has the honor of announcing that the Games of the 30th Olympiad in 2012 are awarded yeah! to the city of London. After London won the bid to host the Olympic Summer Games, it became apparent that there was no formal framework for implementing sustainability at events, in venues and for suppliers. This led to the development and launch of the British Standard for Sustainable Event Management, BS 8901, and due to the high level of interest in BS 8901, it was decided to create an international version of the standard to coincide with the London 2012 Olympics. ISO 2012-1 is now widely used across the sports industry. The International Olympic and Paralympic Committees require all host city organizing committees to be certified with the standard at least three years before their event. Number three, who the standard is for. Events come in all shapes and sizes. So although ISO 2012-1 was developed for the needs of the greatest show on earth, the Olympic Games, the standard is in fact applicable to any organisation or individual. So it's just as relevant for village fates, concerts and music festivals, international conferences like COP26. As you spend the next two weeks debating. And New Year's Eve celebrations. Number four, using a common language. One of the important results of the wide use of ISO 2012-1 is an increased level of communication within the event industry about its approach to the economic, environmental and social impacts of events. So, the important thing here is that by offering a common international language for events management, the standard provides a framework for global tendering and comparison of offers in the bids to host and manage these events, encouraging international trade in the sector. Number 5. What the standard asks an organization to do. For an organization looking to develop a sustainable event, ISO 2012-1 poses a series of key tasks. It asks an organisation to identify any issues in relation to their event management operations and outline their commitments to sustainability in the form of a sustainability policy. It then asks them to develop smart objectives and targets in relation to sustainability, to train their staff on sustainability and to engage their suppliers on sustainability. It also gives them the task of developing a sustainability communications plan and monitoring and measuring their success. And finally, to audit and review their documentation. Number six, how the standard is used. 
Implementing ISO 2012-1 is made easier because it is based on the approach used by other ISO management system standards, and that is plan, do, check, act. So the plan is what the organization is going to do and how it is going to do it. The do is the implementation and the control of what was planned. The check is to monitor and measure progress and report the results of what was done. The act is to take any actions to improve the results. And so back once again to plan and to create a cycle of continuous improvement. Number seven, how it works alongside other standards. Because ISO 2012-1 provides a framework to help identify the potentially negative social, economic and environmental impacts of events, organisers can then remove or reduce these through improved planning and processes. And because the standard takes a management systems approach to running more sustainable events, it can be integrated with other management system standards, such as ISO 9001 and ISO 14001, for even better results. This is thanks to what's known as the harmonised structure, which means that, as documents, management system standards are structured in the same way. This feature is particularly useful for organisations that choose to operate a single or integrated management system, one that can meet the requirements of two or more management system standards at the same time. Number 8. Certification against the standard. Organizations can also choose to be certified against the standard ISO 2012-1. Organizations like Formula E. It's a really great recognition for us. Um, we are the first sport and motorsport to achieve ISO 2012-1. And it's um, great standards that we've achieved for actually the second time in a row we've been recertified ISO 2012-1. It provides a really great standard and framework for us as a championship to make our events truly holistically sustainable in our approach. Certification means the provision by an external and independent body of written assurance a certificate that the system in question meets the requirements of the standard. Organizations may choose to undergo certification to demonstrate to its customers, clients and stakeholders their commitment to quality products and services, that they are a trusted supplier or, like in the case of Formula E, that they are committed to sustainability. In order to maintain certification against ISO 2012-1, organizations must undergo a review every three years. Number 9. The people involved in developing the standard. Because ISO 2012-1 addresses every stage of an event, from planning right through to hosting, and includes monitoring and measuring guidelines, the standard has been developed with input from many different stakeholders to make it both practical and effective. In the UK, for example, this has included representatives from the film industry, music festival organisers, event security, venue management organisations, tourism organisations and many, many more. Number 10. Review and Revision like all ISO standards, ISO 2012-1 undergoes a review at least once every five years to decide whether or not it's still valid or needs updating. This is an important process because it ensures that the standard remains relevant and meets the needs of its users around the world. So, there you have it. A standard in 10 minutes, ISO 2012-1, the international standard for sustainable events. You have been listening to Standards in 10 Minutes from The Standard Show. Subscribe to us now wherever you get your podcasts. You just heard a stripped media production.